Hello everyone, Sakuri like here and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. Once again, we are going to be continuing our A to Z series with Kaiser Redux and oh my god, I have got to rush this one right here right now. I'm preparing to leave to go on a trip to Philadelphia and I don't have many hours in order to do this, so I need to do this as quickly as possible. Like an idiot, I slipped in, but we are still in the A's and right now it is A for Australia or the, the Aust Australasian Confederation. Okay, I mean, I would be depressed too if I had a name like that, buddy. A nice Anzac Spirit. Ooh, that's actually some nice bonuses here, but simultaneously uh the, the the country was bled dry from the previous war well let, let's see what we can do then so here we are what was australia but now is australasia let's go ahead and get the basic research out of the way check out our factories we have a somewhat decent industry to start out let's get the basics that we need produced and let's check out this focus tree what do we even have state of the economy victory for the guard victory for afm i don't even know what we need to do though it doesn't appear to be a very broad tree oh man we get some pretty good research bonuses here from the looks of it okay well you know what you know what let's focus on the economy then i also know for a fact that afghanistan is going to break out in war so i'm going to go ahead and move some units over here preemptively in preparation for that status of the confederation formed in 1924 as a result of consolidation of resources act the australasian confederation is a combination of british australian dominions australia and new Ze oh wait we have new zealand oh we do have new zealand very cool did not even realize this no wonder our economy is actually larger from the very beginning. Well, either way, it went to shit for us from the last war. The oncoming election, the election of the antipodes, the suspending the emergency protocols enacted in 1923 led to the dissolving the autonomy that was separating the New Zealand Parliament. Okay, so I guess we're going to determine what's going to happen. Observer rights in the Legation Council. When the British Empire collapsed, the governor of Hong Kong invited troops from Germany and great powers in China to occupy it. Yeah, we deserve a voice in Shanghai. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to us. Victoria, but no, no, stop lighting on fire, Australia. You're fine. Oh, and George V is dead. Okay, well, moving on then. There goes the Anglo-Afghan War. Okay, that's happening. Let's see, do we liberalize the economy, privatize it, or just reform the bureaucracy? Well, this gives us some construction for privatizing, so let's do it. Oh, yep, call to arms. You know what? Yep, we are joining in. The Australasian Guard. Uh, it's a staunchly nationalist, jingoist movement. Well, to be fair, that sounds a little fun. The first three elections in over a decade are calling, and many are calling Bruce's election. Looked over to set to return a majority of the United Australian Party. But there's a lot of campaigning. Okay, what are we going to do? Social democracy social conservatism so we have that let's just get the united australian party in here and the guard is getting stronger okay all right well that that's happening Ooh, a new governor general okay well let's see who we can do a native australian replace him with a well-liked governor Ooh, the white raja charles vineer brook oh i like that idea let's do that bureau of conference of 1936 okay our turn to speak what are we gonna get research that's nice Ooh, minus 10 percent consumer goods yes improve our economy Oh, a white piece. Hey, hey, Afghanistan shrank back. Wonderful. We did it. And we took some damage, but it's perfectly fine. Syndicalist march. No, no, st you guys, idiots. Stop it. Wait. Britain has fallen to the syndicalist barbarians. We Australians, citing the historical Eastern Roman Empire, are all that remains of a decent Britannia. The old dynasty of the Sax Cobra Gotha, who brought up to ruins of the Will Creek, will likewise bring ruin to Canada. Under the leadership of the White Raja, by the grace of God Almighty, Australasia will see a thousand year empire, for we have divine providence and exceptionalism in our trademark. Oh my God, yes, Australasia shall rise from the ashes. What? Workers, organization, and trade unions. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Ban them, ban them. Trade unions cause trouble. We don't need any of that crap like workers' rights. No need for that in Australia. The kangaroos can't organize. Russia entering a civil war, all right. Unions protest suppression. Pff, ah, who cares? Who cares? Just keep, keep, keep pushing them. Now, finally, we can end depression. No, whoa, we got all these kinds of trade missions that we can send here now since we've chosen to side with other powers. Let's see how this works. Unrest in Hong Kong. No, 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 no. We we don't need these slippery businessmen. We begin to lose to influence the legation city. No, 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 no. We're helping. The Wallonia crisis. Well, that's turning to shit. A new flag. No, we won't bow down to leftists. Uh-uh, uh-uh, keep it. We're an empire, baby. Deal with it. Invitation to the IEDC. Join and invest political power? Wait, what is this? No, we have no interest in it. Canada, you can kindly fuck off. Transamira descending into chaos. Uh, liberal victory in Brazil. Okay, okay, things are getting spicier. Oh, God. Russia is really tearing itself apart. Yalash, oh, no, they lost all their land. They're, they're relegated to this now. Lang's speech is disrupted. Jack Lane gave a fiery speech in Sydney. Rallied against syndicalists and radicals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, oh God. No, it's uh, it's getting worse. And let's get our men back to work, people. Stop moping around and get into the factory. 
movies. You can be depressed there. Yep, American Civil War. That is now uh, a, a, a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun here now. Now, fuck it. Let's suppress the syndicalists. Oh, Empire of Japan declaring on Yakutia. That, that, that's tearing itself apart now. Another call to arms. What do you mean a call to arms? I'm not going after Panama. Wait, actually, wait. Potentially, I could seize it. Hold up, hold up, hold, hold up. If we get more of the war score. Yeah, I'll join the war. Okay, let's do it. And now there is a crisis on the Danube. Okay. AFM, protest the war. Pfft, yeah, ignore it. Canada supports federal government. Awesome, awesome. And a Spanish Civil War. More shit breaking apart. Illegal strike in Sydney. Pfft, no, 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 no. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Panama collapses and we take the rest of it because we just snuck our forces around. So if I um if, if, if I just go ahead and seize everything, don't mind me. Oh god, I realize I don't have the manpower to actually sustain any of this. Okay, Panama, fine. We will liberate Panama, make it a puppet, but simultaneously we're we're going to retain control of the canal. The Australian Panama Canal. Monarchy in Greece. Oh, that's happening then. And they're still at war with Puerto Okay, I'm not sending all my forces over here to just to invade Puerto Rico. Or actually, wait, maybe I could. Nah, you know what? I'm going to ignore it. I don't want Puerto Rico. I don't care about any of that. Fourth Balkan War breaks out. All right, all kinds of fun. King Edward's address, glory to the Commonwealth. Ha, 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 ha. Sure, 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 sure. Glory to the Commonwealth. Well, all we can really do at this point here now is focus on the army. New labor came in. No, no, stop messing with my government. Minor clash with police. No. Oh, oh okay, okay. It, the syndicalists are trying to take over the country, and I don't like that. Oh, the Illyrian. Oh, wow. Hungry to declare war on Illyria, but Illyria not declared war on Austria. It's a three-way war over here. The Legation Council restores our voting rights. Hey, hey, we're getting more power. The Legation Council is all this crap over here in China. Where I, I don't even, I, I don't even know how to begin to explain this. The rise of the Australian Guard. Oh, in response to the general labor unrest, which has been plaguing Australia, Eric Campbell made an impassioned speech that, yep, 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 national populism is rising. We don't want the syndicalists to take charge. Clarifying Anzac doctrine. Oh, this allows us to focus. Focus on what we're doing even more. Okay. Reduces organization, increases attack and defense even further, or recovery rate. We need quality weapons, nothing more. Focus on the training. Training means reinforce rate is increased. That's actually really nice, but that, that's more so if we had a lot of soldiers to be able to replace, which uh which we don't, you know. So no, quality weapons, nothing more. Attack and defense bonuses. Damn. 10% recovery rate, 10% attack, 10% defense, but minus five org. Dude, that's nice. Enact the Anderson Doctrine. Uh, <laughs> are we going to become a little militaristic? Enact the Anderson do This allows us to claim things? Oh, buddy, I am liking the sound of that. Uh, let's go ahead and claim New Guinea. See what happens here. Our trade with them was terminated. Could I, could I demand it? We'll tell you what, I don't think I'm prepared to actually go to war with the Germans here, so I don't think I can actually do that. Instead, let's focus on trying to enact a plebiscite in order to be able to get things. God, what am I even saying? I need to be able to fix my manpower issue. Farmers request assistance for emus. Of course I will help. Of course. God, it's even. It's no, no. Oh, no. It's Sterling and Guard attacks over conscription. No. Wait, hold on. Wait, is that what I want? Because potentially that could lead to a civil war, right? And then we'll actually be able to conscript. Nationalists support the center party. Oh, populism is on the rise. Okay. Okay. Yep, there goes Asia tearing itself apart. Great. Walloon community. Oh. Oh, hey, they got a rooster on their flag. Oh, Germany declares war on the Walloon communal. Second Wilkrieg. Does that mean France is involved? Yep, France is now involved. Okay, well, German Empire is now occupied over here on the side. Charles Vinterbrook backs the guard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the French national state is now moving in. The Entente and the Reich's Pact to meet. Okay, well, what's going to happen here? Halifax Conference. I don't know what's happening there. German colonies recognized. Germans have demanded the colonies of African Southeast Asia be officially recognized as theirs, forestalling future efforts to have them restored, and the Entente has agreed. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that here exactly. Oh, Japan going after the Qing. Second Sino-Japanese War. <laughs> Scandal rocks the... Oh my god! It's getting worse! I have one person percent popularity <laughs> oh too fitting it's too fitting for me yep and now the war in the desert that's tearing itself apart now goodbye ottoman empire good luck to you the world is looking so very well not peaceful at this point i'm not going to even begin to try and describe it as that it looks interesting the possibility of a coalition nah screw that we don't need any help totally i mean look at this look at this popularity one percent <laughs> 
We got this. Germany removed from the legation council. Hey, all that's happening. Awesome. Vote fails. Wait, did I miss something? I know the world is tearing itself apart now, but I miss these political matters. Fall of Atlanta. That's burning to the ground over here. American Union State is actually doing quite well over here from the looks of it. The rats of... I got an elite mountaineer unit called the rats of Tobruk. I love it. And look, we got to focus on the jungle. We need bonuses there. Empire of Japan. The Empire of Japan is justifying against me. Really? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Are you serious? Well, let's go ahead and prepare the Navy and the 1939 federal election. Uh, do we want the United Australia Party to see John Curtin and the Australia Labor Party, Eric Campbell and the Center Party? Oh boy, national populism. Buddy, you know we're going populist. Victory for the guard. And wait, no, Anderson Doctrine has been removed because its prerequisites are no longer... Wait, can I not? Can I not demand any... I can't demand anything anymore. Oh, damn it. Create a secret police and crush the syndicalists. Oh, boy. No, wait, hold on. We're still actually reaffirming our alliance with the Entente. Oh, wait, was I supposed to go with something else if I wanted to do... Huh, well, you know what? Okay, fine. Create the secret police. Let's get some manpower because we're going to need that in order to be able to fix things. Massive demonstrations. No, it's perfectly fine. Oh, wait, I still do have the Anderson Doctrine but I can only claim West New Guinea and that's it. Unions call for illegal strikes. No. Clash with miners. No, guys, it's okay. Calm the fuck down, please. Crush the syndicalists. Just crush the syndicalists. Just, 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 just do it. Just remove them. Okay, okay. We're removing the syndicalists. We're getting these done. Ottoman counter revolution. <laughs> Dude, this world is pure freaking chaos, man. I can't even process it. Oh God, <laughs> what is this? There we go. We crush the syndicalists. That gets removed. Now reaffirm the Entente Alliance. It's not what I wanted. It's, it's, it's not what I wanted to do. But you know, I guess I have to. German-Japanese war. Oh, that is happening here. Which means that Japan, oh God, is at war with the entire Reichspakt. For the second time since the uprising in 1924, syndicalist supporters have initiated a mass uprising in Melbourne. Ah, uh, so either it, uh, it succeeds and we leave the Entente, but then we become syndicalist instead of populist. Do we even want any of that? No, crush the uprising. There will be no mercy. Brutalize them, I don't care. It's time to restore order. Order is restored, excellent. Okay, Australian Guard takes control. That means we can start building up some bonuses. Laissez-faire reforms, loyal officers. Is there anything else that we can do here? Hmm, you know, the Dutch are not part of the Reichspakt. If I had the political power, I would demand to have the East Indies, but I can't do anything because of our instability. Finally, it's almost 1940 and we could finally remove blood dry so we can actually get some population to be able to do anything rebuilding australia's uh, the australasian empire with order restored we, we we did it fine okay great awesome I guess. Wait, a peace deal between the United States. When was the United States at war with the Republic of South Africa? Now, here we go. The two options, a rising power or to serve the empire. Uh, no, fuck that. As I said, a rising power. We're not declaring independence from the empire. Far from it. We are asserting that we, we are the regional power and no one's going to order us to do shit anymore. That means the future is ours. We can do whatever we want. Finally. Whoa, whoa. When did the American Union say go after the kingdom of Canada? What the fuck? What? <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can claim Western New Guinea, I think that we're actually prepared to do something now. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. They're also fighting against syndicalists. I didn't even realize this. Oh no. Quick, demand the, the, the Dutch East Indian land. See if they'll just give that to me, which caused me to declare war on the Dutch East Indies. Okay. You know what? That's fine. We're just going to move our forces in and take it anyway. Yes, move in. Take the Indies. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Just move on in. Oh, finally, there goes the Dutch East Indies. Okay. Well, that's, that's finally done. Oh God. The syndicates of America have collapsed. Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. We're at war with the United... Well, I'm not at war, but I have to join in on the war because I have to, for whatever reason, Australia has to save Canada from the United States. What the hell? Call me to France. Collapsed. Wait, Australia first, but Japan... Se what, what do you mean, but Japan second? What is going on with Japan? Oh, whoa. Western Command broke apart. Oh, wait a minute. That means the American Union state is now split. Oh, I guess I'm joining the wars then. All right, come on, my glorious troops. They have pushed us all the way up here, uh, almost to Ottawa. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. They have no supply. We can just keep on pushing it down here. Wonderful. And trap basically the entirety of the syndicalist forces just like that. Wonderful. You thought that you could hold me? No. The Australians are coming here and they mean business. Boom. That is the entire army over here in the north wiped out. Wonderful. Don't worry, people. When Detroit is in our hands, it's going to be significantly cleaner, I promise. Oh, and there goes the syndicates. Okay, okay, okay. So that's taking... Wait, no, I won't be able to take barely anything from up here. Um... We're gonna go ahead and take little bits of territory then for Australia, I guess. Don't worry, we can totally break in and free Northern America. That's totally fine. We got this. So many events. Come on. Hello, Northern American forces. Goodbye, Northern American forces. Wipe them out. 
Come on, we're slowly grinding our way through. The American Union state is starting to... Oh, wait, no, they've been driven back from large parts of Canada. Okay, okay, all right. So we are distracting them. They're doing just fine over here. I think that we got this. Fall of Washington and from there, the United States of America. Okay, that's all of this. Well, you know what? I think I deserve a little piece of something over here. Stero Mexico declared the United Mexican States. Oh, even more stuff is breaking down over here. Okay, well, well, American Union State, it looks like it's just you and me and all this other land that I wasn't able to claim. There we go. There's all these forces caught in the north. Excellent. You thought you could take Michigan, but no, it's mine, baby. I just took Detroit. We're gonna clean it up, all right? Poutine for everybody. Whoa, the Union of Britain. When did the Union of Britain collapse? Follow up. And when, 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 what the fuck? When did it break apart into Scotland, Ireland? What the, when the hell did this happen? Oh my Lord, they're finally free from oppression. <laughs> And it's all thanks to Germany. <laughs> Tribe of the French exiles. A hey, the French and the Canadians. Now the British Empire from there, right? They're, they're returning. Yeah, Canada's getting back in charge there. And the French national state is back in control of Canada with the I Italian Federation getting a lot of the stuff here in the South. Very nice. And Miami. Miami has fallen to the Australians. Don't worry, guys. The Australians have come home to the place they truly belong in America. Florida. Uh, definitely Florida. With the amount of things that would want to kill us within that one particular state, that just makes the perfect amount of sense here, I gotta say. Oh god, I'm out of manpower. Conscription riots? No! No! We're losing our cores! No! I just want more people to throw into the meat grinder! Stop being so angry with me! See? See? New Zealanders, all it took was just a little bit more blood, and we took it. And we had the points that we could take everything. Yeah, baby! <laughs> It's too perfect. It's too perfect. We're coming home, baby. The Australians are coming home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell my dingo I'm coming home. You're all gonna die. Come on, baby. Through the mountains. I know you Australians love this, right? Into the cold, damp regions of Seattle? Yeah, you're thriving up here. Which means now the Pacific states of America have fallen. Which means Australia. Australia takes its rightful place with the Grand Australasian Empire. <laughs> That's it. We've done it. We've done it. We fixed the world's issues, right? And we only did it through the powers of dingoes. Dingoes and death. Lots and lots of death, to be honest. A lot probably occurred here. Well, with that, everyone, I think that finishing off the United States in one big blow, considering that everything else over here in the world has been taken care of, and somehow Britain is looking more beautiful than ever before over here, I would say, uh, I, I think that we have reached the end of today's playthrough. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you all will like, comment, subscribe. I know that a number of people in the previous video that I made were talking about how, oh, I missed the American Union state over here for, like, America and Kaiser Redux, because it's, you know, the United States, and has like five or six different paths when it splits apart into its civil war. I think that before I finish out the A's, I will go ahead and do the American Union so that that way we can go ahead and finish things off here for a proper state here where, I mean, we're doing everything. We're doing every nation. So you know what? It is what it is. Everyone, thank you for sticking around with me here for this A to Z playthrough of Kaiser Redux. I ask that you like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if there's any other ideas on video topics that you all want to see. Uh, I'm going to be releasing longer content on my history page, the History of Everything podcast, which I should leave a link for down in the description below. So I ask that you please, please check that out and help support my longer form history content and not just gaming. So if you like the fun history tidbits, if you like all the things that I talk about here randomly when playing through these historical games, then please check out my historical content because I... I really do enjoy talking about it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day and goodbye everyone. See you next time.